uh, city water supply here in Austin and taking pictures of it. You can see the corroded pipes. You can see the class four right there. So that's as high as it goes. We put that in there because, of course, that helps the companies that generate that toxic waste. They don't have to pay a lot of money to dispose of it. They can just dump it into our water. And you know what? Even if you think that fluoride is something that's good for you, if you think that it's medicine that everybody ought to take, when would you ever just dump medicine into the water supply? You can't control the dosage. So people are going to get under-medicated. They're going to get over-medicated. You don't have the same kind of dosage for a child that you have for an ad adult. So it makes absolutely no sense to add that to the water supply. In terms of uh, you know what's going on in Africa, I think it's very interesting and noteworthy that the U.S. military didn't even have an AFRICOM an Africa Specialty Command, they didn't even have that until 2007. I think it's also interesting to note that uh, Bilderberg in 2013, amongst their biggest topics that they said they were going to be talking about, big data that came out before the Snowden uh, break. And then the other one was Africa. You know, they'd like to get those resources in Africa, but they don't want to look like they're neo-colonialists. So, uh, you know, that's another interesting data point right there. Let's go to Tom in Connecticut. Tom. Uh, good day, David. Hey, how you doing? Pleasure talking to you. Uh, this, I was going to talk about Ebola. Um, one of the, I, I know that government, a government won't allow something to happen unless they feel at the high level, at the highest levels that they can manage it. And, uh, and it's my belief, and I've talked to some people who are uh, still, uh, still associated with that or connected with the government. They've, they've said that the, the Ebola coming here is essentially a, uh, almost like a pesticide, and um, the pesticides being applied to the pest, and those pests are us. Oh, and, absolutely. Uh, they, um, it, it's their belief that they they have an immunity to it, either through vaccinations or whatever, and that they're they're not worried about Ebola coming here. Um, they basically want to get rid of us, and uh, th this is one of the reasons why they may be just testing it with Ebola, kind of a weak strain, but they're trying to test it with us. But that's, that was one of the comments uh, that I talked to some of my friends about, and uh, they, they really feel that this is, um, this is staged in the sense of they know it. They know that, I mean, the people that have the cavalier attitude about Ebola coming here, um, you know, just by watching their behavior, it just seems like they're not concerned about catching it. And so Absolutely. what's up? I'm going to have a report tonight on the Nightly News about the Gaia theory. And, of course, this is something that came uh, from a British scientist, uh, Lovelock. And in that, they openly say that the human population is an infection on Mother Earth. They see Mother Earth as a living organism. It's kind of a pagan view. They even name it after the theory after a pagan god. But there are a lot of people of all different stripes that want to see population reduction. There are some individuals who have bought into this uh, silly theory. There's also a lot of people in very high places who have made it very clear that it, that's exactly what they would want. They see the human population as a virus, and they see Ebola, in many cases, as the cure. They even talk about humans being a cancer on the uh, on the planet, and they say, you know what we do with cancer, you know? So there's a, a lot of mentality out there amongst the general population, people who have been sold this idea by some of the elites, and then there are a lot of people in very powerful positions who would like to see population reduction for a variety of reasons. And so they've pursued a variety variety of strategies to do this. You've got Agenda 21 to control people. Uh, you've got birth control uh, where they want to basically take the population down gradually over a period of time by sterilizing people. And then there's other people who just want to go out and wipe out the population. So there's a lot of different people along that spectrum. I would not discount something like that from ever happening. We've had people, as we pointed out, the scientists here at the University of Texas bragged about that, got a standing ovation from the other scientists there. So there are a lot of people who have the capability to do that that would like to do that same thing. Let's uh, move along. I want to go to uh, Dave in Massachusetts. Go ahead, Dave. Hi, Hi David. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Um, this is regarding Ebola. Uh, first, I want to start with the topic of vampirism and the globalists. They seem to be, in a sense, a group of vampires. They feed on life and they feed on our work our positivity and they try and turn it into negative energy so with that i'm going to go to two mainstream media or uh sources i should say the new well, movie Dragon i think i think we're out of time sorry sorry to the people that we couldn't get to that's it for today 
uh, join us tonight on the nightly news at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. And, of course, the radio show will be back tomorrow at 11 Central. Join us then. Your house is still 17 people who are one day are going to become doctors because some of the people who signed this said they were in nursing school. Some were going to be doctors. These, this is why the CDC is messed up as it is. We have a bunch of people on there who have no idea what they're doing, and they're putting American lives at risk. This is mind-blowing. That video and an article by Paul Joseph Watson is up on PrisonPlanet.com and InfoWars.com right now. The, the video is perfect to wake people up. Uh, we also uh, last year did a piece with Leanne where nine out of ten, she talked to like 30 people and three of them did not want to ban dihydrogen monoxide, which of course is the scientific name of water. They said for the earth, you know, for Obama, we want to ban dihydrogen monoxide, you know, arrest whoever has it. And people would go, oh yeah, I'm from Cornell, I'm a, I'm a chemistry uh, you know, PhD or whatever, or, I, or I've got a doctorate in, in, in chemistry. And I agree, and they were just sitting there hitting on Leanne, not knowing what planet they're on. And that's why America is so pathetic now. Because it's not just the general public, but government and corporations are filled with people like this as well. Just a little less stupid, a little less dumb, a little less uh, self-centered when it comes to not knowing any information. They'll usually have some scammer angle they play over and over again on sheep that are a little bit stupider than them. Who wants to promote a society like this?